Don't tell the HOA. Uh, this is our 100 series Land Cruiser. Uh, we just purchased this, I don't know, maybe six months ago. We haven't really done too much to it. I put a radiator in it, but besides that, I changed the oil. Besides that, I really haven't gone over it at all. It's got pretty weak brakes on it. So we're gonna take a look at the braking system and see uh, if we can figure it out. Hopefully it doesn't need a master cylinder because the way I understand it on these, they control the ABS and the master cylinder and the ABS motor and all that's built in together and it's kind of an expensive unit, so. Now I can already tell you by looking at it that it looks like it might be needing a, a fluid change. Yeah, that's pretty dark. So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pull that fluid out and uh, see if we can change it. Going to get some brake fluid. Um, this is not gonna be like a how to bleed your brakes video or anything. I'm just, I'm just gonna see if I can track down why these brakes are so spongy. We're gonna start with getting some fresh fluid in it. And uh, somebody's gonna, somebody's having a bad day right now. They're getting pulled over, but not us yet. Um, Anyway, we're going to change out the fluid, see what that does for us. Um. Alright, so we've got an update already. Not sure if you can see that, but basically it says we've got a master cylinder from a 2004. Um, so this part has been replaced. Hopefully what that could mean, it could mean that it was replaced and the brakes weren't bled properly, maybe, who knows. But I, I, I'm a little bit more confident that hopefully that expensive piece is good and we will just need to, uh, you know, maybe freshen up these brakes and bleed them. Let me just step on it a couple of times and see, see if we're getting anything back here. pressurizing this, pumping it up, and then we're turning it on, and the motor actuates and it feels it. And as you can see, the fluid's low. So every time I do that, I pump it about 20 times, the fluid pulls out as it runs and pumps the system back up. And then I'm going to fill it right here. We'll put about 30 ounces of brake fluid through it, um, pushed it all through the system. It's coming out still pretty dark, um, but it's definitely seems to be pushing easier. Uh, we're going to take it for a quick test drive and see, uh, see how it's doing now. Well, I can already tell you they're better. They just needed to be bled and some fresh fluid. I think they're a good bit more responsive, actually. Till next time. Thanks for making it to the end. Now, click that subscribe button. Let's make this official. All right.